Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about transit moon sextile or trine one's natal Mars. Now, this transit may manifest in feelings, um, emotions, needs, um, reactions, family. This could be in harmony with your vitality, your energy, the actions you want to take. This could be the time where you be, have more of a desire and enthusiasm and really, um, well, I would say not just a desire. Well, you, you more have your feeling. It's more about your feeling, your mood, and wanting um, to do things that might require physical strength. I mean, if you have your natal Mars and Capricorn, say, it could be something you know, with construction, uh, for example. Um, you know, Sagittarius, you know, it might be something you know, with the sports in general um, can also be a time too where you just feel more like expending energy you know if you have your natal Mars and Taurus it might be connected with endurance such as uh, long distance running even weightlifting um, something that requires energy for a sustained or protracted time um, the transit only lasts about 10 hours on average, but you can make you know, make the most of it and capitalize on it if you are awake during this transit. Keep in mind the transit lasts only about you know, about 10, 10 hours. You are using a, a three degree applying aspect, two degree separating aspect. But if you're you are awake during this time, it is a good time where you can really feel like doing things just in general activities, taking action on matters. And in some cases, you're, you're going to be asleep during this time because remember, it is a uh, it's a 10 hour 10 hour transit, and um, you know, the thing is, uh, depending on your time zone or depending on your sleeping schedule. Uh, anyway, the thing about this too is. Um, again, I mean, Mars is about you know, our actions, and it's a good time. Um, I mean, Moon is about our reactions, so it can be a good, um, a good time for you to react to something with a lot of energy, with vitality at this time. And also, it could be you know, maybe taking action on some, maybe it has to do with someone else's reaction. Um, it can be maybe taking action on matters with family or home. Uh, related matters in general um, at this time and, and it might be a good time for others maybe to, that are reacting to your actions at this time to you know your what your um, as far as what you uh, do and it can be a time that's very favorable for the home the family people you're close to home with prominent women in your life scheme they may be more in favor of your actions at this time uh, more so uh, than usual and it could be a time to I mean when you look at this uh, uh, trans I mean Mars is about you know, our initiative and its enterprise and this is a time where you may feel at you know, this time you know, more of a need to take action at this time and um, a time where you might feel more like you know, taking initiative starting something if you have the natal Mars in the first house, say it could be something with the physical body. It could be working out vigorously, getting your appearance, you know, in tip-top shape at this time, getting yourself more attractive looking. Um, natal Mars and Venus, it might emphasize beauty more and just being where you're more, I guess you're more appeasing, um, you know, to potential perspective a significant other as an example and again Mars is about our drive and our motivation so you might feel more driven and motivated to do things at this time you may really at this time um, it, it can be I mean keep in mind you know, this is you know, the moon is about our home again our family people you're close to home with this is a good time where you may be more driven and motivated toward um, home related um, activities um, at this time and the and things that are connected with the moon again such as your home and family life this is where you may feel more driving motivation toward at this time uh, more so uh, than usual and Mars can also be connected with enthusiasm so the thing about it is your uh, this is a good relationship uh, this aspect as far as the moon goes to Mars and the moon is connected with our emotions 
and our feelings and this is where you can have that right amount of enthusiasm feeling enthusiastic but not to the point where you're overconfident or over optimistic and um, it can be you know, time uh, to where you just have that right amount of enthusiasm to do something that is moon related it can be something with the public if you're involved you know as far as you know, if you're dealing you know, with uh, merchandise or products and, Oh, this is a time you're in some business. This could be the time where you have you know, that drive, that energy, that motivation, the enthusiasm to be doing so uh, at this time to be selling, um, selling uh, something. If you're a door-to-door -door salesman, say, I mean, considering that Mars is also about courage and fortitude, and you know, it's really about you know, a time where you would have you know, little hesitation or procrastination in doing something doing sales and having and having the courage to go out there and do it at this time even more so than usual i would say now anatomically speaking mars is connected with the head the skull and the face so it can be a time where um if you have any issues with those um, body parts that i just described that are anatomically connected with mars you may be more in the mood and feel like actually doing something um, about them at this time, whether it might just be a minor, you know, a cut or a bruise, or if it's some pain you're going through, this is the time where you'd be more apt to you know, actually, if you haven't taken care of it yet, this at this by this point in time when you have this transit, you'd be more apt to feel like doing something uh, with it at this um, at this time, and and also um, Mars is about our sex drive as well, so. It can be a time if you've you know, been in a situation where your libido has been diminished or you haven't felt like you know, being involved, you know, sexually uh, speaking with someone. This could be a time where you might feel more, more so uh, like like doing so and having been more in that mood to do it and feel more like doing it more so uh, than usual at this time. And it can be a time. Um, and um, you know, since the moon is about reactions, it's about you, know, you could react more to this, you know, to this energy in very positive um, you know, manner at this time. So anyway, now Mars again is about you know, physical strength. So again, it can be something where you're more you know, feeling like having the mood to do something that requires physical strength or more maybe more emotionally up for it. it's a time where you're likely to get less upset about some something that might require a lot of physical effort and strength if it's laborious work say and it has to do you know, with your job this is a time where you know you know past times if you had gotten more agitated over this it, it may be a time now where you'd be less agitated and actually feel more like uh, like doing so remember the moon is connected with our emotions and our feelings and you're it would likely cause less emotional upsetment at this time so um mars is also about injuries so this is the time where you'd be more apt to take care of those injuries at this time more so than usual and, and have less of um, you know intervention or, or i should say distraction or diversions um in trying to take care of that at this point in time and if the natal mars is in gemini it could be some you know, injury to the arms or the hand or shoulder or some you know problem you know with the, you know, with the nerves maybe at this time um, but anyway and mars is also about combat and confrontation so this is a time you know, if you have to um, you know, confront say a family member at this time it's apt to go a little better in terms of less repercussions and being able to do so maybe in a more constructive way doing so with courage but not at a point where you, you necessarily get a negative or adverse reaction um, as a result of that now also too mars is connected um, with combat and the thing is again if you've got to like move uh, somehow you feel like you're in a position where you have to defend yourself now this is a time where you'd be more apt to actually feel like doing so if somebody is you know calling you know saying you know, derisive things to you or something that you're about you know getting into an argument that person may be more of a time where you're willing you know to speak up and stand up for yourself and not have the negative you know ramifications as a result 
uh, of it at this um, at this point in time. And um, also, to Mars is connected with surgery. So in isolated cases, if you have um, go, if you're going through surgery at this time, this could be you know, more auspicious for actually feeling like doing so and being more in the right emotional state to have this surgery um, at this time. If the natal Mars is in Scorpio, say it could be surgery on the be the bladder, the prostate, the colon, or the reproductive system. Hold on a moment, people. Mars is also um, connected with anger, so it's really at the time where you're less lucky to have a very, you know, angry, um, you know, emotional reaction to something. It's more, I would say, more controlled, or it's more, you know, and more in a constructive manner. It's hitting a punching bag. Um, it's something where you can have have it where it's more, you know, accepted, you know, by people, you know, that are close to you, close to home, family members. Um, the mother, um, as, as some examples, and and Mars is about courage as well. So you feel more like doing things that require courage and fortitude more so than usual. Even if you're happen to be a very passive, you know, peace-loving person, um, you still might express it. It'd be easier to express it at this time. Now, anyway. Another way this transit may manifest, it could be where you feel, you may feel which is the moon, like taking action, which is Mars. Now, let's say, for example, if the natal Mars is in Cancer, it could be fighting, which is Mars for fan, for your family at this time, which is the zodiac sign Cancer. And if it's in, I'm sorry, I should say, if the natal Mars is in Cancer in the third house, it could be fighting, which is Mars for your family. Um, it could be versus a neighbor at this time, which is the third. Neighbors are connected with the third house. Now, also to the mother and family, which is the moon, could be more in favor of what drives and motivates uh, you, the Mars, which is Mars. And let's say, for example, if the natal Mars is in Capricorn in the fifth house, it could be success, which is Capricorn, in sports, which is the fifth house. Now, also, it could be a time where it can be auspicious to respond, which is the moon, to an emergency which is connected with Mars. Um, let's say, for example, if the natal Mars is in Pisces in the fourth house, it could be flooding, which is Pisces in, in the home, which is the uh, fourth house. Now, also, too, or even, or even a chemical or a gas leak, because that's associated with Pisces as well. Now, another thing, too, is that you may easily express feelings, which is the moon, about things that you express enthusiasm for, which is Mars. Now, let's say, for example, if the natal Mars is in Virgo in the 8th house, it could be simply doing an analytical, which is Virgo, psychology or astrology, which is the 8th house. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Leonard saying stay well.